did you uh, have this subject matter in mind for today, Michelle, for your pod? Well, we certainly wanted the podcast to be available right around this time, right. um, for sure. It's, it's In some ways, it's hard to believe it's been a year, and then in some ways, it's hard to believe it's only been a year. You know what I mean? It's been such a strange year, and everyone it, it loves to say how much we've hated 2020, and I think... This was one of the first horrible things that happened in 2020 was Kobe's death. And uh, everyone remembers where they were and when they found out. And, um, it, you know, it's still it, it's still sometimes hard to believe, Rich. I, I, you look at photos of him and it, it's it, just so young. It's still sometimes hard to believe. So um, let's get into uh, who people can hear on this pod. Uh, and you had everybody tell you your favorite Kobe story. I'll give you the floor and what you what you. What yeah, you I mean, here. it's a lot of different people from Sue Bird to um, to oh my gosh, the names are so many. It's hard to pick Usain Bolt and his uh, recollection of meeting Kobe and how Kobe influenced his view of, of having a little girl, uh, having a baby girl. There are all kinds of interesting anecdotes that aren't the big, you know, publicized stories about Kobe Bryant. They're these little kind of side tales that make you go, wow. And I think it just really fleshes out a lot more of his personality, who he was, the legacy he left behind, the people he influenced, um, the things that he did. And um, it, it teaches you a little bit more about his evolution. You learn a little bit more about his evolution as a person, as a human, not just as a player. And um, that's what that's what I loved about having these different people on. Recall, you know, the first guy we talked to was his high school basketball coach and how that whole his coming into the program and into the fold changed everything there, um, really. And, you know, has still left a legacy. So. There's just a lot of detail. When you've lived a life that rich and that thorough, um, and even though it was cut short, there are a lot of stories that you leave behind, and not all of them get told. But in this in this podcast, some really interesting tales get told. Michelle Tafoya, uh, NBC Sports, but also uh, back uh, just about a decade ago, a decade plus ago, uh, sideline reporter for the NBA on ABC and ESPN. What's your favorite Kobe story from your tenure doing that gig? Oh, my gosh. It has to be a Christmas Day one. And I think it was the first time Al Michaels and I ever worked together. It was a Christmas Day game with huh. the Lakers, and they went into halftime trailing. And, um, you know, I went back by the locker rooms and waited to see and to talk to coaches and to see what was going to happen when these guys came out of the locker room. And Kobe came out. And his little girl was waiting for him. And um, she was in her Christmas dress, this little red dress. And he picked her up. And, uh, like, his face changed. You know, he was not happy with the way they were playing. And his face just changed and his tone of voice changed. And he picked her up and she said something to him and he kissed her. And he put her down and they went out and, of course, won the game. And I just... (laughs) Remember seeing that human side of him that, you know, I'd never seen him with his children before with any of us, you know, I think this was his oldest. So it, it was just, you know, okay, wow. Um, and it was just such a precious moment. And so that one always stands out to me. You know, in, 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 in the wake of his passing and the outpouring of emotion and shock um, came the remarkable stories that Kobe didn't want to told because of what he was doing behind the scenes to either pay it forward, um, be there for people who were ill, um, or at the time just being a a counselor to people or a sounding board or a mentor in a way that a lot of folks did not think was possible for him because he had such an outward Mamba mentality. I mean, the video of him – being, you know, um, downright uh, angry at his teammates towards the end of his tenure there, right? Or there was a, yeah. there was also an Instagram post that went viral of him uh, being a coach to his daughter and her teammates, and they all looked miserable, right? And we all assumed that that Kobe was just pulling a Mamba mentality on these poor girls, and they were not 
happy to do what they were doing with him, and that couldn't have been further from the truth at the time. It was just a picture that told uh, a terrible thousand-word story right there that was inaccurate. That, that to me, is you know what I'm thinking about today, was that outpouring of emotion. All these stories that came out you did not know was happening with yeah. Kobe, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember where I was when I found out my son actually came running down to tell me, mm. and I like everyone else, I didn't believe him. I figured, you know, he was on the gram or on Snapchat and got some bad information. And you know when a a little kid is kind of excited and nervous and they they kind of go, Ron, you you won't believe this. And and there's a nervous laughter that comes along with, with, you know, a a 13-year-old kid. And, um, and I said to him, you're, you're lying. So, or you've got some bad information. And uh, then we went up, but it got me from what I was doing. And we went and we searched and we saw it. And I, I was just, you know, it's a, it's a feeling of disbelief. He was so young. And, and, the, and the, whole, the whole circumstance of it with these other wonderful people and young women and all of it. It's just, I was so looking forward to seeing Kobe's next chapter. And, you know, so that is why we still mourn, I think, because there was so much he was about to do. And and also because we really did watch him grow up, Rich. He, he was he was a player for a long time from a young age. And again, Sports Uncovered is uh, Michelle Tafoya's podcast, and she interviewed uh, so many bold face name individuals with their favorite Kobe story. You could get it where every single podcast is acquired, and you could subscribe for free. And we suggest everybody do that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 